Benedict Cumberbatch is a British actor, inextricably linked with the name of Sherlock Holmes. There are dozens of equally curious characters in his filmography, but Benedict's most successful roles are geniuses and villains. Benedict Timothy Carlton Cumberbatch was born on July 19, 1976 in London, the capital of the United Kingdom. His parents, Timothy Carlton and Wanda Ventham, were famous television actors. In the photo, the newborn Benedict Cumberbatch is in the arms of his parents. His parents paid special attention to his son's education, and therefore Benedict changed several schools in search of a better one. In one of them, the Harrow School, Benedict first appeared on stage. A child's photograph of Benedict Cumberbatch. The debut role of a 13-year-old boy was the Fairy Queen Titania from the play A Midsummer Night's Dream. In the photo, the debut role of Benedict Cumberbatch is the Fairy Queen Titania. 1994, Benedict Cumberbatch on the stage of the Globe Theatre. After graduating from school, Benedict traveled to Asian countries and even settled in a Tibetan monastery for a year, where he taught English to monks. Then Benedict returned to England and entered the University of Manchester, where he studied theater for four years. In 2001, Benedict Cumberbatch began performing on the professional stage. At first, he played in the famous open-air theater in Regent's Park, and then established himself at the Royal Court, Almeida and the Royal National Theatre. Young Benedict Cumberbatch In 2003, Benedict Cumberbatch appeared in Hugh Laurie's project A Little Over 40 as the son of the main character of the picture. The series was filmed in the genre of family comedy. In the photo, a young Benedict Cumberbatch plays Hugh Laurie's son. In 2004, Benedict Cumberbatch played physicist Stephen Hawking in the autobiographical film Hawking. This role brought him his first popularity, as well as a BAFTA Award nomination. The photo is a frame from a movie. In 2005, he appeared in front of the audience in the adventure series Journey to the Ends of the Earth with the role of a young aristocrat Edmund Talbot. In 2010, the actor played Vincent Van Gogh in the documentary Portrait Written in Words, and also voiced the documentary series Discovery into the Universe with Stephen Hawking. In the photo, Benedict Cumberbatch is Vincent Van Gogh. Before the selection of actors, Mark Gatiss, the screenwriter and chief producer of the series Sherlock, set a strict condition, no Hollywood celebrities. Cumberbatch's video costume interested him very much, and soon Benedict was standing in front of him in the flesh. Photo Benedict Cumberbatch and Sherlock producer Mark Gietis. Cumberbatch became the only contender for the role of Sherlock. On July 25, 2010, residents of the UK saw a modern version of the adventures of the great detective. Of course, there were those who were dissatisfied with the remaking of the Conan Doyle universe in a new way, but the vast majority of viewers found the BBC experiment bold, bright and outstanding. In the photo, modern Sherlock and Watson, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. The role of Sherlock made Benedict Cumberbatch a global celebrity. Already in 2011, he brilliantly played with Johnny Lee Miller, sharing his body with him in the film Frankenstein, and appeared on the same set with Gary Oldman and Tom Hardy on the set of the detective thriller Spy, Get Out. Then, he starred in Steven Spielberg's War Horse. Photo Benedict Cumberbatch in the movie War Horse. In 2012, he played in the miniseries The Empty Crown. The project dedicated to Shakespeare's plays has given bread to many popular British actors. Benedict Cumberbatch played King Richard III. In 2013, Cumberbatch turned into a villain again in the sci-fi blockbuster Star Trek Retribution. 
His character named Khan Singh falls into the hands of the team of heroes Zachary Quinto and Chris Pine. In the same year, he played the intelligent slave owner William Ford, who favored blacks, in the film Twelve Years of Slavery. In the movie August, which was released again in 2013, he had to fend off the psychological attacks of the characters Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts at a family dinner. Photo Benedict Cumberbatch and Julia Roberts in the movie August. In 2016, Benedict Cumberbatch appeared in the Owen Wilson and Ben Stiller film Model Man 2, playing a transgender model, which caused outrage among many fans of the actor. However, the discontent quickly passed when it became clear that Benedict Cumberbatch, along with Tilda Swinton, was approved for the main role in the superhero blockbuster Doctor Strange. While studying at Manchester University, Benedict Cumberbatch met actress Olivia Poulet. Their romance lasted more than 12 years, but in early 2011, the press became aware of their separation. Photo of Benedict Cumberbatch and Olivia Poulet Subsequently, the actor met with designer Anna Jones for several months. In 2013, Benedict Cumberbatch topped the list of the sexiest male actors according to Empire magazine. After filming the final part of The Hobbit, Benedict was spotted in the company of Russian model Ekaterina Elizarova in Ibiza. Benedict and Sophie met on the set of the film Burlesque Stories in 2009. They have been good friends for five years, started dating in 2014 and have been hiding their affair from the general public for a long time. In November 2014, an entry appeared in the wedding section of the Times newspaper. The engagement of Benedict and Sophie has been announced. The wedding dress of Benedict Cumberbatch's wife is in the photo. The wedding of Benedict Cumberbatch and Sophie Hunter took place on February 14, 2015. The ceremony was attended only by relatives and close friends of the newlyweds. Sophie got married in the fifth month of pregnancy. Benedict Cumberbatch's firstborn was born on the first day of summer and was named Christopher.